Speaking of uh, remembering titles, uh, this show is actually named after uh, the audio wizard himself, uh, the King of Clarity. Mm -hmm. um, he who keeps us. Um, there's a light in the dark. He is Vern. The Vern Show. The Vern Show. Welcome to the Vern Show. Yeah, no, this is the Vern Show. This has been the Vern Show, and we're just lucky enough to now and realize I, it. I have We've my, always I have been my magic the cube. Show. Have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> my magic cube. Let's see what happens when I do this. <laughs> I brought this block because it, it ties into a talk that I gave, and people who watch that talk will get it, but it's green, so mm -hmm. it's not going, nobody's going to see it. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Tracy will ask what the green block is for. Yeah, it's neat. Yeah. <laughs> What's in the box? Oh. Boop. There's nothing in it. It's just a block. Can we practice running a clip? Okay. So I brought three clips. Uh, we already played the first one. The second okay. clip is only 30 seconds long, so it's very short. But I selected it because it's a good example of how I very intently listened to this woman named Carrie. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm repeating back what I think that she said because I think it's so important for people to hear the words that they've said so that they can think about it. Because sometimes them hearing their words back is the first time that they've actually heard their belief come back to them. And that's what this clip shows. So let's go yeah. ahead and roll clip number two. I'm interested in meeting people that are 100% or they say they're 100%. Yeah. Because I think knowing something is an extremely difficult thing yeah. to be able to say. Well, one thing I found interesting about our talk, mm -hmm. like just getting real meta here, mm -hmm. you were saying that it sounded like what you were saying, mm -hmm. and if this isn't it, say, Anthony, you're way off, mm -hmm. but it sounded like you were saying is, yeah, I know I'm not 100%, but it's more comfortable to me to say at 100%. I think, I think that's right on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's the clip. Yeah, so this was me repeating back what she said and then her hearing her own words. And I give her a chance to correct me. Yeah. Like, if, if this isn't what you're saying, please let me know. And, and uh, hear that when you're discussing something about God or politics. And uh, I really like showing that clip uh, for that reason. Rock on, man. Do you have any comments on it? Do I have any comments on it? I kind of <laughs> want to see more of it, to be honest. It feels like it's not long it enough. Was, it's too wondering. short. It's too short. But but it it's it's just that teasing. To go back and there is a third one. Of it. There's a third clip that's a minute long. But this video is on my channel, so that people can check it out if they want to. They can watch the whole thing in its entirety. Nice man. Yeah, your 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 style of talking to people is just so zen. I mean, it's it really is just this <laughs> soothing. Company. I try to make people feel safe. You do. Yeah. You do. I felt like an asshole. Like when I was, when I was diving in, I was just like, I'm tear this, you know, this cathartic, you know, because some people, well, a lot of, I tuned in at first to get that kind of cathartic shredding mm. of arguments mm -hmm. and see, you know, that, that, that comfort, yeah. you know, that, you know, it's safe. Let's talk about this. Yeah. It, it's, um, it feels like it, it, it's a precision strike, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not this overall demolishing, it's getting straight to the heart of yeah. the person you're talking to. Largely what it is, is to, to make people comfortable mm -hmm. so that we can examine their belief. And if they're being defensive, if they're uneasy, then yeah. you may not get down to the root of why they believe. So it's advantageous to be nice. And I just wanna be nice. Like, I, I, can, I can wrap it up and be a jerk. <laughs> sure you can. But I don't really, I, that's just not the so uh, it just turns out that it's more effective to be nice, and I just happen to be, I, I think I'm nice, and I try to be nice, and I, wanna be, I, I want to I've, be nice. I've met you on several occasions so far. You come off as an incredibly nice guy. Thank yeah, you so absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That I mean, is, I, listen, I can ramp it up if I need to. Uh, just ask my kid. <laughs>
but but no, I think when it comes to examining these beliefs, uh, you you need to try your best to make people feel open and safe, and encourage honesty. And if someone's being defensive, it's one of the worst things that you can encounter if you're trying to uncover the uh, their foundation for a belief. If someone's being defensive, yeah. Well, that, 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 that's just uh, further underlines the goal. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah. That being said, I was going to say, um, I mean, we're not broadcasting out, but I mean, if this came up during the show, I might use that as, as, a, as a way to encourage more callers. If you've ever been wanting to dial into this show, mm -hmm. uh, I can assure you that I will try to be as respectful and gentle with you as possible. And yet I will challenge you too with questions. So this is a good opportunity to call in and, and have your beliefs question. If you've ever been on the fence about calling in, then uh, this is your opportunity. I think they, that's probably going to be the best shot they're going to get because as somebody who's going to be guest hosting or co-hosting, yeah, that, that would be something unique that you would be bringing to the table, I think, mm. is that is a, a level of empathy that I haven't really seen. Thanks.